Star Queenslander Teddy Disco was responsible for an outstanding performance in defeat in his particular semi-final for the three-year-old Colts and Geldings in the New South Wales Breeders' Challenge Series. I caught up with his driver Nathan Dawson to have a chat about the run and also Nathan's career. Well, Nathan, the performance of Teddy Disco in defeat was simply superb. Yeah, he was. Um, you know, he had to do it tough and he only just went down at the line, so he was very good. No doubt in the straight you thought you had the race in your keeping. Mahomes just produced one of those remarkable performances. Yeah, he's very good. I um, can't take any credit away from him, but, um, you know, hopefully next week you can turn the tables. It's only going to be an interesting case of some very uh, outstanding three-year-old Colts and Gillies that will be facing the starter. It is, you know, yeah, they're all good bunch of horses, so probably who's best on the night and gets a bit of luck is probably going to be the one. Of course, Nathan, fellow Queenslander in Leap to Fame, the triple derby winner, the one to beat. Yeah, definitely. You know, he's done everything right in his whole career, so he's probably the one that, you know, stands out the most. Nathan, your career got off to a very low-key start due to the lack of opportunities. Yeah, it had a quiet start, um, you know, and didn't have a lot of opportunities, but, um, you know, it kicked up later on, which is good. 2017-2018, the defining start of your career when you were successful in that particular season in gaining the state premiership. Yeah, that's right. Um, I had good opportunities and... Um, you know, I had a good team behind me, so I made the most of it and um, certainly been onwards and upwards since then. On that particular occasion, you knocked over your cousin, Pete McMullen, which is no mean feat. No, nah, not at all. Um, we had a good rivalry and, you know, <clears throat> every time we're out there, we uh, you know, do our best, but it was good to get one up on him. Hey, for that slow start you had to your career, you've been ticking off the uh, boxes on a regular basis these days. Also, 2018, virtually to the day, you won the Kevin and KC more young achievers along with your cousin Danielle McMullen and that resulted in an outstanding opportunity going to the States. Yeah it was, um, I'm very privileged to be able to um, get the opportunity to go over there and um, experience you know, a different side of the world so it's very good and something I'll always remember. Hey, what stables did you get a chance to visit? Uh, I went to Chris Ryder and we just you know, wandered around a few of the other stables nearby so no, it was a good experience. Yeah, I was going to say, for a youngster, that would have been an eye-opening experience watching uh, racing in that particular part of the world. Yeah, it was. You know, it's completely different to over here, so it's good to see what they do over there. Did you like that speed factor they seem to have? Yeah, I do. You know, that's what everyone, especially the drivers, are after, so, you know, it was very exciting over there. 2021, you've managed to uh, chalk off another milestone in your career, 1,000 winners with just a little bit. Yeah, no, it was good. You know, you don't really pay attention to that, so when it pops up, uh, it's a good achievement. And Jiggle and Jive, Group 1 success for Elaine Smith. Yeah, I was lucky enough to get the drive on her, so, um, you know, she's a good filly, and uh, we made the most of it getting a Group 1. As far as your own career, Nathan, are you more just settled on driving, or at some stage do you want to build more as far as the team is concerned with your training? No, nah, I'd rather focus on driving, um, you know, Training's a bit harder work and uh, I'm more you know, focused on driving um, instead of the training side of it. You've always said that you appreciate the opportunities you have been given and it doesn't matter if they're a powerful stable or a hobby trainer with one or two horses, you'll drive for anyone. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter you know, what horse it is, I'll drive them all. So um, you've got to take the slow ones with the good ones and eventually it might turn. That's of harness racing, you love your game of golf? Yeah, I love a good game of golf. Um, you know, I don't play that much anymore, but um, every chance I get, I'll head out there. Where do you actually play there in the uh, beautiful part of the Gold Coast? Uh, generally play at Gales um, around there, so um, good little course there, so uh, that's about it. What's your handicap? Uh, eight. Is that good because I'm not a golfer? Uh, it's pretty good, um, good enough for me, um, so yeah, I wouldn't want it any smaller. Do you play with any of the other fellow trainers and drivers? Yeah, a couple of them up there, like uh, the Barnes boys and uh, Matty Leroy, so a few of us head out and have a hit. No doubt you're into rugby league? Yeah, I watch it a bit. Um, I probably shouldn't, the team I follow. <laughs> I would suggest that's the Broncos. Yeah, that's the team. Uh, hopefully this year's the one. Jake Turpin, I got a surprise they decided to let Jake go, of course, a cousin to Chantel Turpin, another outstanding Queenslander. They let him go to the, the Roosters. I thought he was one of their better players. Yeah, that's surprising. You know, he's always in there making all the tackles. Um, he's a good little player, so uh, it's probably their loss. Nathan, great to catch up with you. A little bit of a uh, chin wag about your career. Good luck next week. It's going to be a cracker of a race, and no doubt Teddy Disco will be right into the mix, right up to his eyeballs when the uh, horses hit the line. Thank you.